I'm here today, I'm going to demonstrate a new baking product that I found on Facebook, gosh, almost a year ago. And I'm just getting it out. You can see I've got it folded over. And what we do is open it up and there are actually uh, little markings in here and along here that you can line up your guides to. Uh, I'm just going to guess here and I'm going to move this back because on the front we have measurements for the width of our pie crust and typically uh, for us when we're making a pie and you've baked pies with me before is that we want between 12 and 14 inches. So I'll put that back. And I think I will move these out just a little bit. Honestly, I've never used this before, so I'm learning just the way you are. So we've got the pie crust in the middle. Just flatten it out like that. And put the silicon mat on top. And then, as the Dough Easy logo says, this is how we roll. Now, if you watch the video on their website, and there's a number of YouTube videos by other bloggers, if you'd like to check them out. But look how easily that comes off. Didn't even stick. That's amazing. So let's keep rolling. I just wanted to check it to make sure. So we're getting rolled out. And one of the things that I have trouble with, and you may have as well, is when you're rolling pie crust, sometimes you can get it too thick. But I am just going to roll this out. I think we're going to get to 12. It's uh, not a huge, 12 inches, I mean, sorry. It's not a huge uh, piece of pastry. And I've got a fairly small. Pie plate. This is uh, a French rolling pin, a wooden rolling pin, French style, and it is now my go-to. I find it's a lot easier on your hands. One of the things I often always have trouble with too is having enough edging. You know how you have want to have a little bit of overlap on the edge of your pie plate, and because I can roll quite thinly, I don't think I want to have that problem. And I have my pastry cutter here, but gosh, I'm not sure I'm going to use it. So look at that. So I have my greased pie plate, because we are going to bake pie. And as I've taught you in the past, we're going to roll. Look how easy that is. Oh, a little bit there, but not much. Oh my goodness. Now it, it is sticking a little because I got quite thin. Look at this. How perfect. Okay. And it's really fresh pastry. What I mean by fresh is that it's been out of the refrigerator now for a little while. So it's very easy to work with. So there we are. And if you've been to the blog lately, you know I've got two really awesome videos on, actually they're on my YouTube channel too, if any of you have been there. I think I'll probably put this on the YouTube channel. Oh, I am just so impressed with that. 
So I'm going to use my pastry cutter and just cut in underneath. You can use a knife too, whatever's easier for you. I'm just used to doing this. Makes a nice clean edge. Then we'll flute. Well, maybe we're not going to flute because you know what? I think we're going to make a blueberry pie and I'm going to make lattice and I'm going to use my doughies. There. I can use these scraps for lattice and I do have another wheel of pastry that I can roll out. I think that's pretty amazing. I think it's a pretty amazing pie crust. It's beautifully rolled out, lovely, golden and thin and we're, I'm, a, I'm going to go now and uh, make that blueberry pie. We're going to make a lattice. And that's one of the favorite ways I love to top a blueberry pie. So that's what we're going to do together. And I have to tell you, this dough easy is amazing. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, that looks pretty good. Get a little thinner up here. And you don't have to worry about the shape of your top crust because I'm going to cut it all up. Here's our beautiful pie shell. I'm just going to place it here. I think you can see that. And I'm going to fill it with blueberry and raspberry filling. This is an amazing recipe. I've adapted it. It comes from a book called A Year of Pies. And I'll be sure to put the link to that in the video. It's by a lovely young woman named Ashley English. And she gives us recipes for every month of the year. Mm. And it really is something. So I'm thinking, I'm going to pull this over like that. So I'm thinking in honor of my dear friend June, I'm going to call this Razzleberry Pie. And we're going to make our lettuce. Now I'm not pressing too hard, so I'm sure I won't hurt the mat. And you always have to kind of be prepared for little cracks. But that worked out okay. Just lay them on top like that and we put one there and don't worry about the edges because we're going to flute it all in so then we're going to make the cross pieces So what we do is we fold these guys back. It's got a broken edge. And we go like this. 
and we lay those forward and then we pull these ones back You know what folks, I am just so amazed with this doughies and how there's just no mess here. Usually I've got flour all over the place. And we're going to do that. And... I think we have room for ones at the end. So we need to do these two. Like that. And these two. So you can see that, I'll just move my scraps away, I'm going to use my pastry cutter, neaten up the edges, there. So what we do is, if you've watched my other videos, is we use our knuckles and push in, okay? Just use your knuckles. Push in slightly. Don't worry if it's perfect. That just crimps the edges. Some people like a really thick fluted pie crust and you just tuck those underneath those little lattice pieces. Some of mine were short, I'll admit it. I don't go for perfection in my pies. I go for flavor. And this pie is going to be loaded with flavor. Now when you're baking a fruit pie like this, they really do have a tendency to run over. So make sure that you've protected the bottom of your oven with either one of those uh, oven uh, aluminum foil trays or I just put a sheet of aluminum foil on the bottom and then I can throw it out. Okay, so we're all ready. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for half an hour 20 minutes to 30 minutes because it really needs to chill and set up before we put it in the oven. So here we have our beautiful blueberry and raspberry pie and this is what I call a razzleberry pie. The crust is absolutely beautiful. I think the dough easy has really helped. So we're going to cut into this awesome pie. I can't wait to try it. And I grease the pan really well. So this pie is, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So let's try it. Mm. It's really good. Mm. 